Hey guys, I wasn't quite prepared for this, but I just found a plant that might be of interest to you. And it was another YouTuber that kind of helped me uh, identify this plant. So let me take you in and show you. But I want to show you the area that it's growing in. Now it's just growing right beside this old trail. And there's some small shrubs. Some sunlight comes in and it's next to the woods here. But I'm almost certain after watching that other video that this right here is Colt's foot. And I've heard you can uh, this can be used as a salt substitute. It's been a long time since I've even bothered looking at this plant but it does have some unique characteristics besides the the leaf we can pop one of these leaves off and look at the underside to get a look at the vein pattern in the leaf and one really distinct feature I'm gonna put this camera in macro mode the most distinct feature I noticed on this plant is when you rub this leaf stem There's almost like a white fuzz that comes off. I kind of rolled it up there because my hands are a little sweaty from riding the bike. But it's almost like a cottony fuzz all over the bottom of this stem. And on the top of the stem, it's purple. And there's a groove that runs all the way down the stem on the top. I'm almost 100% sure that's Colt, Colt's foot. When I get home, I'll key it out and make sure and if it is I'll post this as an identification video for Colt's foot. One other thing I noticed about this plant is the leaf on top is really smooth and soft. It's not, it doesn't feel fuzzy, it just feels really smooth. And underneath it doesn't feel quite as smooth but it's a lot paler, almost white underneath compared to the top. Now if you rub the underside of the leaf, you can get that white cottony fuzz to come off as well. Just like on the stem here. You can see it all over my hand. Now I'm going to show you a couple other things with it. Here's the entire plant. And it grows as a basil rosette. It just has one stem that comes up out of the ground and leaves that come off of that stem. And if we pull it up, it has a, looks kind of like a, well, just judging by this one, it has purple on the stem at the base and uh, somewhat of a tap root that branches off. This may, it may actually go over and send up more plants as it grows. That's kind of what I'm thinking just by looking at it. But again, I'll have to get home and look it up to find out for sure. But that's it. Nice little patch of it growing all over through here. Basically, uh, Cole Craven. He posted a video the other day with several plants he was looking to identify and I knew most of them and I tried to help him out the best I could but I didn't know this one, told him I'd never seen it before and sure enough a few days later I come out on uh, what was just going to be a bike ride and here it is growing all over the place. So thanks Cole Craven, you kind of helped me out too and uh, hopefully this helps you guys out as well. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the comments and support.